Hi everyone, this is Ian Robinson and welcome to another episode of Ask ZBrush. Today we are going to cover a question that came in. How can I disable the sub palette pop-up after I enable it? In order to disable the sub palette pop-up, we need to first go under preferences. Now we can tell that this is enabled because configuration is the only menu we see. Sub palette pop-up actually condenses all the menus into one menu so that way the entire UI is not congested. So let's go click on config and now we can see all of the menus that we can access. Let's find interface and hold shift. By holding shift on the keyboard and clicking interface, what this will do is open up multiple menus so that we can access both of them simultaneously. Now let's find sub palette pop-up and we can tell that it's enabled again because the button is highlighted. We're gonna click and disable that button which disables the feature altogether. And then we need to go ahead and store our configuration. First, let's save the UI. So I'm gonna save that. Okay, that is saved. And now I'm going to store config. What this will do is store this so the next time we start up ZBrush, our feature will be disabled and all of our menus will be back. I'm gonna go ahead and click store config. And now if we look real quick, we'll notice that all of our menus are still missing. All we have to do is restart ZBrush and we will get all of our menus back. Now that I've restarted ZBrush, we could see that on the start screen, everything is here, just like it normally would be when we restart. I'm gonna go ahead and grab a new sphere, hit T to edit mode and make PolyMesh 3D. And now you can see all of my menus are back the way it should be. Thank you for watching this video. Please continue to send in your questions to hashtag AskZBrush on Twitter. And happy ZBrush.